forgetting also that there was an understanding in a bid to address the aggravated challenges of family unit and parenting and its advanced effects on the nation at large, and Saudi Society of Nigeria is said to hold its 10th Terrenal National Conference in Lagos from Friday 24th of June 2022 to Sunday 26th of June 2022. The, the dynamics have changed. The National President of Saudi Society of Nigeria, Dr. Abdurafiu Ademola Sani, stated this at a press conference held at Ansar Udin Central Masuru Lere, Lagos on Thursday, June 16, 2022. We have invited the press today to intimate you of our activities towards the society's 10th Triennial National Conference. The theme for this year's conference, which is Parenting and Psychosocial Effects of Immorality, Insecurity, and economic challenges to nationhood was carefully chosen to address the aggravated challenges of family unit stroke parenting and its wider implications on nationhood. The three-day event will witness the speaker as of representatives, Honorable Femi Bedabi Amela, as a keynote speaker, and Honorable Minister of Aviation, Dr. Adi Sirika, as a guest lecturer to discuss the theme of the national conference parenting and psychosocial effects of immorality, insecurity, and economic challenges to nationhood amongst other eventful activities outlined for the conference. The keynote speaker is the speaker, House of Representatives, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Right Honorable Femi Bajabia Miller, while the guest lecturer is Dr. Adi Sirika, Honorable Minister of Aviation. The activities lined up for the three-day events are Courtesy call to eminent members of the society, including the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Olushola Sawolu, formal opening ceremony on Friday, 24th June, by 10 a.m. at Yard 158 Event Center, 3 by 3 p.m. Special Jumat service at the Lagos State Secretariat Mosque, Alausa, by 1 p.m. Thanksgiving service at Yard 158 Event Center by 3 p.m. Merit Award Ceremony on Sunday, 26 June 2022. Thereafter, there will be swearing in of newly elected officers. The President further highlighted the achievements the society has recorded in the last three years. At the tail end of the last administration, our pet project, Summit University, offer got a full operational license as a degree awarding tertiary institution with more than 10 programs on offer, all now with full accreditation status. I'm also glad to inform you that we recently appointed the second substantive vice chancellor for the institution, and I dare say he has hit the ground running in managing the human and material resources of the institution. As the proprietor, we will keep doing our part of the bargain by attracting strategic infrastructure, endowments, scholarships, and allied opportunities that will improve the staff student strength of the institution. In his remarks, the National Mission of Ansaudi Society, Imam Abrahman Ahmed, said the controversial issues on Muslim Muslim tickets should not raise tension if the running mate is trustworthy, god fearing and have the love of citizen at heart. At this point in Nigeria, we should not be concerned with um, uh, the tribe, the ethnicity, or the religious persuasion of individuals. All these are exacerbating our fault lines. They are not addressing it. They are not solving our problems. Uh, we should not be here. It should be about who can get the job done, whether he's a Muslim or a Christian, whether he's a Jo or a Bibio. This should be the mindset of people who want the progress of this country, who want the development of this country, and it is not about the tenor of the voice of the person to be president. And we should not be hypocritical. As the 2023 elections draw closer, 
The society urged Nigerians to participate actively in the process in order to ensure the right persons are elected into office and dividends of democracy are delivered.